Hi everyone. So today in this video, we'll see how to execute the same job parallelly on Jenkins. Okay, so in our previous video, we have seen how to create a free work style, I mean, free style project and Maven project and pipeline project, right? So how do we run those build? Like we'll go to the project workspace and we'll click on the build now button and the build will start, right? So whenever you click the build now button, so all the, I mean, uh, so each build will get start, right? So if you click on the two times on the build button, okay, the first will be getting, I mean, build will be getting generated and the second one will be in the pending state or it will be in the queue for the next stage execution, right? So once the build one is get completed, then the build two will get start, right? So we have to run this, uh, we have to achieve this case parallelly. So when you click the double time on the build now button, so it has to run to, I mean, it has to create the two build and it has to run in the, I mean, parallel mode, right? So now we'll go to Jenkins. So I will pick some project. Okay, so my last uh, build was number 17. Okay, so now what I will do, I will click on this build now button. Okay, one time I have clicked now. So I can see the build number 18 will get generate. Again, I am clicking one more time this build option. Okay, so now this, this time you can see number 19 is getting generated but it is in the pending state, right? So until unless the number 18 is getting completed, it will not start, right? So what our expected is, is expectation is, like we, whenever I click the build now option, right? So it has to create a job and it has to run in the parallel mode. Okay, so we can achieve this in um, Jenkins by clicking this option in the, by, by putting this option as a true in the Jenkins configuration, okay? So execute concurrent build if necessary. So when you check this option, so how many times you click on this uh, will now option? So the, those times, I mean, so if you click on the two times or three times, so all the three builds will cre get created and it will run in the parallel mode. Okay, so we'll wait for this uh, build uh, to get complete. I will cancel this number 19. Okay, so it will not run until unless the number eight is 18 is get completed, it will not run the 19 build. Okay, so we'll wait for this 18 to be completed and we'll see this 19, 19 is getting started or not. Yeah, so the 18 is, uh, I mean, completed. So 19 is started, right? So I will cancel this number 19. Okay. So this is how we'll go, actually. So when you, when you click on the two times, so it will, gen, I mean, it will complete the number 18 and it will run the number 19. Okay, so we don't want to run this uh, in this way. So we want to run how many times you build the project. So those many times it has to build the project and it has to run in the parallel mode. Okay, so we'll go to the configure tab. Okay, so this is an option that we have to select in the configuration. Execute concurrent build if necessary. Okay, so we'll go to the configuration tab. So when you come to this configuration, right? So here you can see the option called execute concurrent build if necessary, right? You have to check this option. And you can read this uh, description by clicking on this uh, respective question mark. You can see when this is option, I mean, this option is checked, multiple builds of the project may be executed in parallel, right? So which means uh, by default, it will only one single build will execute at, the, at, at a time. Any other request to the start build, the project will remain in the build queue until the first build is getting completed. So, so that's what we've seen in our, our, our uh, we have seen, right? So we have executed this build uh, two times, but one was getting running and one or one was it is like a pending state, right? Until unless the first one is get completed, the second will not start. Okay. So to overcome that one, you have to check this option and simply click on apply and save. Okay. So now I'll come to here. So my last bill was 19. Okay. I will click two times on this bill now option. Now we can see number 20 will create. So respectively 21 also will create and it will uh, under both 20 and 21, it will run in the parallel mode. Okay, I will click on this build now first time. Okay, you can see the 20 is created, right? So again, I'm clicking one more time. You can see this time is 21 also getting created, right? And, and both are running in the parallel mode. So I will open this 21 in the separate window. I will go to the console. So this is my number build 21, right? So this is number 20 and this is number 21. And both are started by the admin, I mean, uh, my username, right? So both build are getting started now. You can see it both running in the parallel mode. Right? 
right? I mean, uh, wait for text uh, to be completed. I mean, uh, to build it, get succeed. I mean, I'm running the same project two times in the parallel mode. Okay, so this is number 20 and this is number 21. And both build are getting started. Here you can see number test. I mean, uh, number 20, the test is started. So number 21 also test is started. You can you can see the side by some comparison, right? So here also Chrome driver started, and here also started. I mean, you cannot see in the Chrome browser because I'm running the Jenkins installation uh, version. If you install the Jenkins var file, then you can see the UI, the Chrome UI or respective browser that you have configured. So you can see uh, still the build is getting executed. Yeah, so the number 20 is success and 21 also getting finished, right? So I will close this window. We'll go back to the project and let's see both builds are, I mean, successfully get executed or not, right? So here you can see it both started at the same time and the execution is done, okay? So this one has taken the two minutes, 47 seconds and this one has taken the two minutes, 43 seconds, okay? So now, so we have run the two times, right? So now again, I will I will go for a three, three uh, more than two times, like a three times I will run, okay? So when I am I am clicking on the first time build now, so now you can see a number twenty two will get generated. Okay, I am clicking one more time, so build number twenty three will get generated, and I am clicking one more time, build number twenty four will get generated. And you can see number 24 is in the pending state, right? So what I have said, so you can run multiple project. I mean, uh, I, I mean the same project multiple time on the parallel, right? But when I click on the third time, the 24 is in the pending state. Why? So this one, so by default, you can run only two. If you want to run more than two, then you have to do some configuration. So for configuration, what we have to do, I mean, so what happens now? So until 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 unless the 22 is getting completed, right? So it will not start the line up. I mean, build number 24. So it it the num number 24 will wait until this uh, 22 is getting completed. Okay. Once the 22 is completed, then it will start the number 24. Okay. So to to control this, right? So you have to uh, do some configuration in the Jenkins. So go to uh, manage Jenkins. So here you have to come to this manage nodes. So under manage nodes, you have to go to the settings. So by default value of the executor, number of executor is a two, right? So you have to change this one. So for example, I'm changing to three and I'm saving this one. Okay, so we'll come back to the project. So this is a project that I'm, I'm, I'm uh, taking for the demo. So here you can see, yeah, 22 is completed, right? So 24 is started, but still 23 is running, right? So we have started the 22, 23, 24. 22 is completed, so that's the reason we started the line, I mean, build number 24. So we'll wait for 23, 24 to be completed. And again, we'll, we'll uh, build the project three times. Let's see all the three uh, jobs are executing, uh, I mean, builds are executing parallelly or not. So now you can see uh, build number 23 is success. I mean, it's completed. So it is waiting for about to close this uh, build number 24, right? So once this 24 is done, then we can again go for a, a build now. We'll, we'll uh, build three times. The same project will build the three times. And let's see uh, that those three builds are executing parallelly or not. Since we have made the configuration. So how do we make that configuration? We have to go to the manage Jenkins. So under the manage Jenkins, you have to go to this uh, manage nodes and clouds. So here you have to go for this settings button. So by default, number of executor will be two in your case. So you have to increase this one. So we have made as a three now. Okay, after saving, come back to the project that we are running. So this is a project that I have taken for the demo, HTML report. Okay, now we can see 24 also it's completed, right? So what I will do now, I will uh, again uh, build the same project three times, okay? So the last build is 24. Again, I mean, uh, the, I'm clicking the first time on the build now. 
Okay, now 25 is created. Again, I'm clicking this line of uh, bill now, second time. So 26 is created. Again, I'm clicking the bill now. So bill number 27 will get created and it will execute. You can see all the three bills are getting executed. So if I click one more time bill now, fourth time I'm clicking. Okay, so bill number 28 will create and it will be in the pending state. Here you can see, because we have we have given number of executor only three, right? So if you, if you give us a four, then it would have executed, right? So all the three bills are executing parallelly. So I will open one by one in the separate window. So this is bill number 25. And this is bill number 26, right? All three bills are executing parallelly. And this is bill number 27. Okay. So you have to do this configuration. By default, uh, the number of executor will be in the two. So if you increase that one, then you can go for this one. I mean, uh, you can you can run your same job parallelly number of times that you want. Okay. So we'll go to the, I mean, I'll go back to the project workspace. Let's see. So once this number 25 is over, I mean, uh, once this 25 is getting completed, you can see the 28 will start automatically. Okay. So, so this is how we run the, uh, I mean, uh, same uh, job on parallel mode. Okay. Let's wait for this 25 to be completed. Let's see if 28 is getting started or not. So still this 25 is getting run. Do the console and see. Okay. It will, it will take some more time. The test is in progress. We'll wait and see. Once this 25 is completed, yeah, not only 25, either 26 or 27, whichever is complete before. Once once uh, any one of uh, out of three, any one is getting completed, it will start automatically under number 28. Okay, so obviously it will 25, uh, I mean, should get complete first. So, I mean, number 25 is about to close. Let's see, uh, the 28 is getting started or not. I will just refresh the screen. Yeah, so this time you can see number 25 is done. Yeah, you can start, the, I mean, I mean, see this line number 20, I mean, build number 28 started, right? So right after the 25 is completed, it started the line, I mean, build number 28, right? So this is how the execution will go when you run the parallel mode. Okay, so make sure you are enabling this uh, number of executor more than two times. If you run the, uh, I mean, if you build the project more than two times, so by default, it will be two, you have to make it as a more than two or three or four something like that okay so this is how we execute the uh, uh, same uh, job parallelly in the jenkins okay so if you guys have any uh, comments or doubts uh, please feel free to ask in the comment section thank you guys